What's up? What's up? What the fuck is up? This has been a long week in hip hop. But uh, one person has been missing in action. Has anybody seen Kenny? Has anybody seen? Has anybody seen Kung Fu Kenny? I I'm just saying. Have you seen? Have you seen Kung Fu Kenny? You seen him? You seen him? Man, we're gonna have to start putting your putting your boy on milk cartons in a minute. Like, where you at? Where you at? No call, no show, bro. No call, no show, bro. You might, you might, you might, you might get terminated from the battle before the battle even even heat up and get started. Like, like, come on, bro. It's 420. Something should have dropped. If it ain't dropping while I'm making this video, like, come on, bro. It's 420, bro. Everybody chilling. Everybody waiting on something. Everybody waiting on some, some old, like, turned up, like, West Coast style type shit, which is hitting hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? You let your AI out you, out, outdo you. And then when they made fun, when they made fun about Drake at the beginning of the week and the other night, Drake goes and says, well, you know what? Spike. Yeah. Now all y'all niggas confused. Y'all either, y'all either confused or y'all turning into haters, which that's a whole nother big problem for both sides. I think it should be where if you, if you root for your guy, then you can root for your guy. But you cannot deny the scoreboard. If the other team is up by a couple of touchdowns, you can't be sitting back like everything is peaches and cream. It ain't. It ain't, bro. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't that. It ain't peaches and cream, bro. Like, you down. You down by like Kendrick down by three touchdowns. Let me explain to you. He down by three touchdowns with only a field goal on the board. So it's 21 to 3 right now. That's 21. Uh, 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 points, Drake three. You know what I'm saying? Twenty one OVO, uh, uh, three points, uh, TDE. Cause yeah, you represent TDE. You might not be signed to TDE, but you still, you still TDE. They still, they still, they still, they still rep you. They still support you. So I don't want to hear that. So you got all these people thinking that 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 Drake used AI, and then Drake come back and goddamn. Blasted y'all ass with a dope ass song. Dope, dope ass West Coast feel. Dope ass West Coast beat. Man, shit. Drake made me feel like I was back in the 90s. Like Tupac was still here. I was like, damn. Nigga, is this a young Snoop? This sound like a young Snoop. I'm like, shit. This shit right here rotten. Then Drake came in on it. I'm like, damn. I can't even, even if I was a Drake hater. I got to give him seven points for that, my boy. I'm looking at my guy like, bro, where you at? Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? It's 420. Where you at, Kenny? If you ain't dropped today or tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, bro, this is tragic. But we just going we just gonna go ahead and say that you had to babysit the kids last week. Let's just say it was your week to babysit the kids and Whitney needed some free time. Let's just say that. Let's just give you that excuse. It is okay, my boy. Everybody got responsibilities. But she couldn't hold them babies uh, like she did on that front cover for, for, for all of a couple of hours so you can run down to the studio and drop and drop something. You can come back to it, my boy. You can come back to it, but she can't hold it back. She can't hold the babies at the crib for three or four hours, my guy. You got car escort. You got security. You can you can get police escort if you wanted to. All y'all got money enough money to make it happen. If anything, you got enough money to build a studio overnight in your crib from Sweetwater. So I don't want to hear no excuses. Kung Fu Kenny, where you at? Where you at, Bruce Leroy? Bruce Leroy, where you at? Yeah. Show sure enough. That what goddamn Drake feel like. Drake feel like the villain that we, everybody really don't, we we like Drake, but we don't like him. We like Show sure enough because he was, he was funny and he had that flag, but we really was rooting for Bruce Leroy. 
Like, really, most of us is rooting for, for, for Kung Fu Kenny. Because if Kung Fu Kenny go hard, we know Drake going to come back even harder. And it's going to make everybody else step their game up. So where you at, Kung Fu Kenny? Where you at? We need something right now. We need a drop. We like fiends. Hip-hop fiends right now. We need a drop. We need a whole drop. We need a UPS Amazon FedEx drop. You feel what I'm saying? We need one of them pallet jack drops where they where they gotta they gotta come to the door and knock on the door and be like, hey, where you want me to put this? Literally. You want me to put it in the backyard? You can you can you move your cars out the driveway for me, sir? That type of drop. If it ain't that type of drop, my boy. Man. It's almost like it's almost like the Falcons and the Patriots, man. 28-3, third quarter. If the team don't snap out of it and start playing, y'all ain't gonna be, y'all ain't gonna be winning this game. Y'all ain't gonna have a fighting chance. At least, at least now you can tie it up to where everybody can be looking at Drake and be like, Drake, what else you got? He egging you on to do that. He like, listen, I drop one official song and I drop one diss track. I dropped another diss track that's just a freestyle. That just it's just free for the internet. It was just something I was really playing with. Cause y'all was playing on my y'all was pegging on my pin game. You feel me? Let's just say Drake had some some uh 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 as you call it, aka Ghost Riders. Because your boy got credit. Quint Miller got actually got credit on the on the out. They just didn't, he was just like, oh, I wrote that, I wrote that, I wrote that. And I'm like, yo, if Drake got this many, listen, man. Niggas ain't disciplined. Niggas will tell on their goddamn brother and sister just to make a dime. So let's just say, let's just say Drake got this many ghostwriters going around. And it's this many people. Uh, uh, don't you think they would tell on this nigga by now? Don't you think they would snitch on this nigga by now? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Quentin Miller, yeah, you probably helped. You helped Drake out. You helped him write. You helped him reference. Just like, just like, uh, uh, I understand what, um, uh, what's my boy? Um, Roddy Rich was talking about. He was like, "Listen, bro, uh, it's confidentiality and everything, but you going around telling people that you wrote the whole song, that you worked with me, you wrote the whole song, which you probably didn't. You probably left a demo track, a feel of the song, like producers do, like for real do, like Timberland do, like Dre do, like all the produ the, the the dope producers that y'all love." The DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled might go in and be like, I want the song to sound like this. It might sound like some, it might sound performance wise like some bullshit. But the person on the other side, if they can get what's out of his head and make it for him, it's a start of an idea. And then they make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite products, that's how they made. So why is this all oh, this, this, this ego and hip hop to say that I want to say I made everything? And then it got me thinking and said, damn, that's why Drake named this shit Taylor Made. Because y'all been saying that all his songs seem like they Taylor Made for him. So he said, listen, let me Taylor Made something for uh, Tupac and Snoop, two of the biggest West Coast rappers. Argue with that. Two of the biggest, if not one and two. Like, I can't even think of nobody else. Let me know. Because Kendrick definitely ain't no Tupac. And Kendrick definitely ain't no Snoop Dogg and Dollar. That ain't happening. He ain't, he ain't that. He, 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 ain't, he, ain't, he ain't them. So we just go ahead and say, we just gonna go ahead and say that these are the two biggest, two biggest MCs from LA. Two of the biggest MCs from LA. You gotta think about that, man. This man took of song and wrote for two of the biggest dopest MCs in LA and everybody sat back and was like the Lisa Agaib the Lisa Agaib he did it this nigga did that shit we like nigga this shit tight we like is this nigga the, this nigga the chosen one is this nigga the Lisa Agaib this nigga the voice of the outer world he must be they said he wouldn't look like us. They said he would come from another world. They said he would know our language. 
They said he would know our ways and our tactics easily. They said he could see the past and the fucking future at the same damn time. That sound like Drake. I ain't even trying to hype this man up because I only bought two albums from Drizzy Drizzy Drake. I did not like. I did not like Certified Lover Boy. So let's just put that on record. I did not like that that the, the, the Afro beat uh album. It was weak. I couldn't play none of that to make nobody dance at none of my parties. So yeah, I didn't like them two projects. So I'm not the on Drake type of dude to be like Drake. I'm not a Drake super fan at all. I don't even buy Jordans. You know what I'm saying? I did not buy Jordans because that nigga stood by, by, behind goddamn distributing Jordans. I don't want no fucking Jordans, nigga. I love Jordan, Michael Jordan, but I ain't got to buy these goddamn shoes 20 years goddamn later, nigga. Miss me with that. You can miss me with that scheme. Anyway, yeah, this nigga is the Lisa al -Gai, the voice of the outer world. Y'all better listen. This nigga going to prove to you every time. This nigga, this nigga Kendrick might be Faye Rafa. He might be Fire Rafa. Oh boy, um, the dude, the other dude, the uh, the uh, the cousin. You know what I'm saying? I might even pronounce his name wrong. But it was Paul Altrades and your uh your cuzzo. You feel me? And Kendrick is the cuzzo. But see, but see, Rafa is like he took your boy, uh for uh, basically, when your grandma tell you, don't pick on your light-skinned cousin, cause one day he gonna swing back, and then that day he turn around and he molly -wop your ass, and he beat you down, and then you and him got to go see grandma, and grandma look at both of y'all, and she discipline both of y'all, but she look at you and say, I told you, I told you, if you keep pushing him over the limits, he was gonna, he was going to swing on your ass just because he live in a good house and both his parents got good jobs and they make damn near uh, combined $300,000 a year don't mean you, you can just boss around your cousin. You feel me? He trying to do good. But if you push him the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? Good people can do evil shit too. Good people can do petty shit too. So don't push your, don't push your cousin over the limits. He'll turn around and beat you down, and you'll be like, damn. Yeah, y'all got the same genetics, i.e. cousin. So it's the same thing in the in the Kendrick Lamar thing and the Drake thing. Drake came first. If anything, like I say, yes, he is your ritual, financial, well-off, light-skinned cousin. But the nigga's still cool, though. When he come around, he still fit in. Y'all y'all obviously let the nigga fit in to the point to where he got songs with all of y'all. So none of y'all can say shit about that. None of y'all can say shit. What y'all gonna say? Think about that. What y'all gonna say? Y'all ain't gonna say nothing about no goddamn, uh, uh, hey man, Drake, what, what? How any of y'all gonna say Drake, what, when y'all did features with the nigga? Since y'all think the nigga, oh, he a white boy now. Come on, bro. Y'all, man, y'all can miss me with that. Y'all can miss me with that. That's when you know you scared when you start bringing up race and all the other bullshit that don't matter about fucking real spitting and real lyricism and we actually hearing performances over wax. We actually hearing performances. We don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. You can be 300, 400 pounds. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. You can be big pun. I bet y'all niggas won't goddamn one of y'all one of y'all new coming ass goddamn MCs that think y'all y'all could have ran up on Big Pun. Big Pun would have sliced your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Big Pun would have sliced your ass up. Matter of fact, Kung Fu Kenny damn sure don't want to see Big Pun. You know what I'm saying? Not the not the Big Pun. 19, 1990 something Big Pun. I'm talking about from way back. You know what I'm saying? See how the see how the Seahawks Big Pun. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he played in the NFL. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, Big Pun. Yeah, y'all ain't running up on no goddamn Big Pun. Y'all y'all can forget that. Just forget that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can judge by looks and call this man a white boy and everything. That's an excuse. That's a cop out. You already lost the battle then. You already lost the battle. You already lost the battle. And that's what he did on this on this track. We were like, God damn. Okay. This mother pulled a, he pulled a rabbit on y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? 
People with a rabbit on your ass. I'm gonna say everything you you gonna say about me. Then I'm gonna flame your ass. Then I'm gonna and then then I'm gonna give you the mic. So you gonna be looking at that mic, and then Mike gonna be looking at you. And you gonna be looking at that mic, then Mike gonna be looking at you. And you gonna look up at Drake. You gonna be looking at that mic, and then Mike gonna be looking up at you. At, at you. And you be like, shit, fuck, I ain't got nothing for him. Because to be honest, all y'all in the comments that's gonna say something bad about Drake. It's the same bullshit. He got Ghost Rider. He a white boy. He ain't black enough. He from Canada. He ain't from the hood. All this bullshit that half of y'all niggas in the rap game is from the fucking suburbs. Y'all niggas ain't from the inner city. It's only a couple of handful of niggas that's really from like the hood. It's only a handful. Most of these niggas from the suburbs, they just hang with the wrong fucking crowd. But them niggas is not from the hood. Like, they're not from... Like, they parents' residents don't say the hood. So... Yeah, it ain't even like that. So you can miss me with all them, all these excuses. Miss me with the excuses. He used AI. He used Ghost Riders. The nigga just, the nigga just wrote for two of the biggest MCs in the game, and we sitting back bumping this shit in our cars like, nigga, what the fuck? This shit, this shit, four twenty, this shit, four twenty friendly. Damn, nigga, what the fuck? This shit is fire. You can't even, you can't deny that. You can't if you denying that. You just don't like hip hop. If you saying you don't like Taylor Made, you just don't like hip hop. If you say, "Oh, I'm disgusted," nigga, you don't own the rights to they they music. Why you why you disgusted, nigga? I'm a spectator, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I don't own the rights to Batman, but multiple studios have made Batman. They made they made two Batman movies at the same time, the Flash and the fucking the Batman that just came out. At the same fucking time. So who cares, nigga? Like, I'm entertained. I'm like, nigga, give me your, give me your heat. Give me what you got. That's what we looking at Kendrick. We like, Kendrick, we know you the other half of this entertainment. We need you, nigga, on stage. Niggas is looking at you like, we came to see y'all niggas go back and forth. Not on, not in the park. Not on no freestyle, but we know what the game. The game is... Who can spit the best shit, the best petty shit on the tracks, on the wax? Who can have the, the freshest MC lines? And who can make the greatest music at the same time? The song still got to be great music. And that's what Drake killing y'all niggas on. He crushing y'all niggas on the boards. Nigga, that nigga getting all the rebounds and all the assists. Y'all ain't doing the fundamentals. Straight up, that nigga know how to make music. Bet me on that. All y'all Kendrick fans out there, y'all diehard Kendrick fans. Because I'm a Kendrick fan too, but I'm a Kendrick, I'm a fan of all these niggas. So it don't matter, Kendrick, Drake, or whoever. I'm I'm looking at this shit like WWE wrestling. I don't give a fuck if The Rock is your favorite wrestler, nigga. I like Stone Cold Steve Austin. And if he come in the ring and he got down, Stone Cold stunned that nigga ass, then that's just that. That's just that, bro. You know what I mean? You can't get mad. You just got to be like, oh, shit, damn, that nigga Stone Cold stunned his ass. Cool. You ain't gonna live in none of, in, in neither one of these people's lives. You ain't gonna get no check off this shit either. Unless you doing media on YouTube, then yeah, you'll get a check. So that's what I say. I want y'all to this week tag me in the video and respond back to me. That's y'all homework this week. Be free with it too. Say whatever the fuck you want to about this goddamn conflict. I want some entertainment out this motherfucker. I want you to respond back to me. I ain't gonna get mad at you. You ain't gonna get mad at me. We're gonna be good. Cause we all good. It's all love. It's just, we wanna see gladiators. We wanna see this like a movie. We know these dudes ain't gonna hurt each other. We know that. We know it's on wax. But I don't know about that Chris Brown and uh, Quavo, Quavo thing. I don't know about that. We ain't even gonna talk about that. That's some shit. I, I ain't even gonna lie. The way Chris Brown was talking, I might just. I might just, I might just load, I might just load the sticks up in the car and just goddamn go, go see this nigga. Real talk. I ain't even no bullshit, and I ain't even about that life at all. But I, if if, if I'm Quavo, I ain't just staying at the crib. I'm like, what this nigga just say? I don't rap that good. I don't rap good as Chris Brown. Fuck that shit. And I'm from the A, and I say that I be looking at nigga like, nigga, you rapping real good. Nigga, I'm finna come over there and do something. <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, no violence though. No violence. No violence though. But yeah, but uh, but yeah, man. Chris Brown, man, yeah, man. Chris Brown turned into Tupac overnight though. Real talk. This man woke up and said, I'm Tupac. 
We thought Tupac resurrected last night on the Drake song. Tupac really resurrected on the Chris Brown song. This nigga woke up and said, I'm Tupac. Fuck your bitch and that click you claim, nigga. Chris Brown, VA, nigga. Your shit is lame. That's what that nigga said. That nigga said, I fucked your bitch. Like, damn, bro. Shit. Like, I look at that nigga Chris like, I'm looking over like, somebody gonna get him? Somebody gonna hold him back? We don't, we don't, we don't want him to do nothing. Like, we don't, we don't want him to hurt the man. Y'all... Hey man, hey, hey, hey man, just go easy on him, bruh. Damn, you woke up with Tupac. You Tupac walking through the casino, like, you know what I'm saying? You turned up, dog. Like, nah, dog, we can't do that. We can't do that, man. We got the, we got the, we gonna have to, you know, like, the flow is tight, though, Chris. Flow is tight. Flow is, flow is on point, but, man, you woke up, you with Tupac. That's all I got to say about that. I ain't even got much else to say. That's all I got to say. So, y'all know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And make y'all motherfucking video. Tag me in it. I want to know what you think about this shit. I'm out.